Hey there, artist. I'm going to be going over how you can make a simple paper mache pumpkin. And all you need for this project, at least for the just the uh, sculpture part, is you just need a single sheet of, what is this, newspaper. You need a whole lot of toilet paper and a little spray bottle of water. That's right. That's all you need. So, to start, you take your newspaper and you are going to gently crumple it into a ball-ish form. Now, don't squish it because this is the size of your pumpkin. So if you squish it and make a really teeny one, well then guess what, folks? You got a really teeny one. Now, all right guys, that's it. And if I let it go, it just comes back undone. So you're gonna have your toilet paper ready to go. I've just got a giant strip of it. So let me find the end. Work smart. So I've got it ready. Get it back in its crumpled ball-ish shape to make a sphere. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the toilet paper and I am going to wrap it around a couple times in the one direction. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to, so if I can get it flat again, and I'm going to start going the other direction to try to get most of the newspaper covered up. Now, if you need to rip it because it's getting too confusing, that's no problem. You could have more than one pieces. It does not matter. All right, everybody, look at this pumpkin. Just kidding, it looks like a wad of trash so far, but it will look great. I'm gonna get another one. Try to get most of the newspaper covered up. It's okay if there's some peeking out. All right, now being careful where you point your um, spray bottle, you are going to mist it so that the whole thing is damp. This is what's going to make the uh, toilet paper stick to the other toilet paper, okay? So don't let it go, because it'll undo. So, it might be a little sticky in your fingers, and you just have to pat it down gently. Try not to rip it. If you have to ask a buddy for help, ask a buddy for help. Of course, then you should help them out too. Turn it when you need to. Now, if paper is not sticking, that means you probably need a little bit more water. I'm trying to make it damp, not wet. Pat it. Again, if you have pieces flopping off, that means that you probably need to add a little bit more water. Tap tap, tap. So everything should be covered in one or two layers of tissue or toilet paper. I can even add one more layer just for good measure. And then I'm going to go over how to make the um, stem because we're also going to add that. All right, let me go ahead and spritz it down. Not all of my misters, if you're doing this in the art room, are the same. It is they all work just fine though. It is what it is. You get what you get. If you make a watery mess, then what should you do with that watery mess? I'm really hoping you just said, clean it up, obviously. Okay, guys. So, that is me pumpkin. They will be bumpy. So do not be like, oh, I got a bumpy one. They're all gonna be bumpy. But have you seen pumpkins? They are bumpy. Okay, guys, for the stem, I have extra toilet paper. I'm going to take a chunk. I don't know. This is like four squares-ish. And fold it. And now I'm going to get it more misted. This one I'm going to get closer to wet, not just damp. Let me be careful with that. And I could twist it. And I have this bottom here that I kind of left a little bit drier and I could stick that on anywhere. Now it's gonna wanna fall over, see? So this is the solution for that. Again, you might kind of set it aside, be gentle with it, I don't know. You're gonna get a piece of toilet paper again. 
This time you're going to fold it over and do not squish it. My stem is under here. I'm gonna get one going on the other side. Again, this is like three squares-ish. My stem is in the middle. And then this I'm going to lightly spritz. Lightly spritz, folks. And I can form it. Be gentle. This needs more water. If anything is flopping off, it's the solution is to add a little bit more water, but not too much. It's easier to add more water, but once you add too much, you can't really take it away. Again, you'll probably have to dry your tables off afterwards. And then with this, I can't really do anything with it today after I formed it. I'm just gonna have to put it away, making sure that my name is near it wait till it dries and then I could paint this bad boy and I could even add a vine I could add um, some leaves going off of it uh, if it's around Halloween you could put a face on it if it's around Thanksgiving you could I don't know paint a little squirrel next to it I have no idea or you know this is one idea is to make a pumpkin but I just uh, formed a really simple sphere shape you could make this a head what if you turned it and this is a neck and now you've got Jack um, skeleton there are so many other things you can do with just this simple sculpture beginning okay guys so I'm gonna stop right there and let you get to it happy arting today